Misa play Dice Wars, Annie. Misa hope I remember how Dice Wars works. Misa kind of going to stop talking like that because I'm sure it doesn't sound very much at all like the thing that I'm trying to talk like. I'm really tired. It's almost 2 o'clock in the morning and I have a test tomorrow, so I need to go to bed, but we're going to play us some Dice Wars. Quick explanation of what this is. Um, Albino Black Sheep, one of my favorite places to go for Flash, uh, as far as movies, is having the 24 Games of Christmas or something like that. Every day from December 1st to December 24th, they are going to post a new Flash game. And it is a fl not necessarily a new Flash game as in just came out, because as you see here, Dice Wars is from 2001 to 2006, but new to albino black sheep so they're not going to repost an albino black sheep game as the game of the day although they will most likely post related games or similar games because that's just the way they roll haha <laughs> see what I did there okay so this is dice wars this is awesome we're gonna play with three pl actually let's just do two players let's make it really simple alright so here what the game first does is it generates this map there's this big rectangle made up of hexagons and then it just randomly generates like these big open areas in here and destroys this section of the map and then randomly places d your dice and your opponent's dice on these territories. You always play as the purple dice. So whenever you're looking at this map and deciding whether or not you want to keep it, you are the purple dice. I'm going to keep it just because I'm, well, actually I'm going to say no just so you can see it regenerate a map. There you go. Now I'm going to click yes because I'm dumb. Click yes and watch. The computer always goes first, so you see a whole bunch of stuff happen. And you hear rollings and tickings and thumpings and I am getting my butt handed to me. Oh my gosh. Okay, so the way this works, you click your area and then you click in a, a neighboring area to attack. You can only attack neighboring areas, areas that are touching you. Are you touching me? And how this is going to happen. Wow, my brain's not working. If I haven't mentioned it already, it's 2 o'clock in the morning. And I think I did mention it already. That just tells you how tired I am. Okay, so what you're going to do is when you click your territory, and then you click a neighboring territory, all of the dice on your territory will be rolled. So here, for example, I would roll six dice and then add up the total. And he would get to roll two dice and add up the total. Whoever's total is bigger wins. If the attacker wins, all of your dice but one move on to the uh, enemy territory. So if, uh, here, five of my dice would move forward, and one has to stay behind. If he wins, all of my dice but one die. Because the defender just totally wipes out attacking forces with the exception of that one lone guy who has to control territory. The second rule of this game is that you can't move dice around other than by attacking territories. So, for example, I can't take these, you know, leave, uh, take five of the dice from this stack and move it on to this territory to make it stronger and then attack with this territory. That doesn't work. That's not how the game is played. So you have to plan out your attacks beforehand. Otherwise, you end up trapping your pieces in the, you'll, you can trap a big stack of dice in the back where there's no, nothing they can do. And the third thing is the way you get extra dice. You notice that at the end of this guy's round, a whole bunch of dice stacked up extra on his territories. At the end of your turn, you count up how many adjacent territories you have. So, for example, I, we're going to do mine because 22 is really big. Four. I have one, two, three, four touching each other. So that is my biggest territory. Here I only have two, and this guy's all by himself. So at the end of my turn, if I just clicked end turn, I would get four total dice. He, on the other hand, has 22 contiguous territories. So at the end of his turn, he gets 22 dice. This is why I feel like I'm kind of screwed here. So, how are we going to do this? We have to plan out our attack. It's really easy. Right here, there's only one die. Do I want to use this three stack to attack back here? If I win, I'm going to have two dice in the back, and I'm going to be... I will be adjacent to my own territories, so I won't be able to move them forward. So that's kind of pointless. So instead, I'm going to use this two stack to attack, and I win. Yay! 
Then I'm going to attack three on one, like that. Yay! And then I'm going to do a swing around the back here. Yeah, 23 wins. 15 wins. If you have six dice attacking one die, it's very hard for you to lose. Now you see I've mostly depleted this stack of dice. If I used this three stack against this two stack and I won, I would have two dice here and this big stack of dice right here would not be able to do anything. So instead, I'm going to attack this way. That's nice. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, so I want to keep pressing the attack from this side, and I think I'm going to swing up, over, around. Well, actually, I want to take out this big stack, because if I can beat this stack right now, then he doesn't really have anything else in the area. It's also a good idea, since I know my, I've already taken my opponent down to 17 adjacent territories, if I can cut him off. Unfortunately, there's not... Ah, I could cut run, two, three like that. And that would cut him, uh, his adjacent territories down to 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That would be kind of useful. Let's try that. That's going to be our strategy. We're going to go here. Yes. We're going to go here. Yes. And now I'm going to attack with this stack again against this. 14 to 5. Yes. See, now he's down to 10, and I'm up to 16. This is going well. All right, I have a 2 here that can attack this 1. 7 to 1 will beat him. I have a 2 here on this 2. No reason not to try it. I lost. You'll notice I lost a die. If this had been a stack of 4, I would have lost 3 dice and gone down to 1. Now, can I further cut him off? Not really. I have absolutely nothing that can attack this guy. So I'm going to have to take my chances here. I like having this strong territory. Although if I do take this, that'll cut another two off of him. So I'll just go ahead and take that one. Now he goes down to eight. I'm up to 18. And I'll end my turn there. The dice, I believe, are randomly assigned to your territory. So you don't really get a choice of where those extra dice you win go. So it's all the luck of the dice. I mean, as it makes sense. There, I just had my butt handed to me. And I will once again have to... And here, I'm in a big a bit of trouble. Um, if I just end my turn, I have six dice. You can only have eight. That's the maximum stack. So those six dice would go and just be in the background. The reason this is a big problem is that he has 24 adjacent territories. And those 24 dice can go all over the place. I'm probably going to lose this battle, by the way, just because it was a very poor layout for me from the beginning. But I didn't examine the map at the beginning. I just clicked OK in order to click OK. I'm leaving him a, a, just a giant trail of uh, easy-to-defeat territories. But that's kind of what you have to do. I think I'll leave it like that. I'm 11. Ah, 11's not too good. But yeah, I'm going to have to leave it there. I click end turn, I get 11 things, and now he is going to just own me without even trying. Haha, -ha, that guy held off. Dude, those guys are my hero units right there. Okay, here, take you down. Thank you. And just for the heck of it, take you down too. Oh, why not? I'll take you as well. I mean, if we're just going to be handing me free territories... Yeah, I don't have a prayer of defeating anybody. Well, because I can only attack these really big stacks. So let's click end my turn. Get a couple dice. Now he's going to destroy my soul. Oh, you have to get lucky a couple times. Here, I can only make one attack. So I'm going to attack this guy. And I'm going to win. And then I'm going to end my turn. Get just a couple dice. Oh, man. I need... I got lucky. That was very lucky right there. That was a huge stack of dice against this. Now, see, I only have three dice here, so I can only make two attacks, and my best chance is to go one, two. I could just end my turn, and actually that is, at some point, a smart idea. But I really need to expand my territory, if only to give myself a better front for attacking. I'm going to end it right there. 
And again, I only get one big stack, and my one big stack goes down. But now, now he's opened up the floodgate, because now I have my stack of eight, and I can do a quick little march through here. Take that, and I'm going to take this one, and I'm going to take this one, and I'm going to take this one, and I'm going to take this one. Okay, and I'm going to leave it right there. So this is a cool little game. Um, it really helps if you uh, t pay attention to the stacks at the beginning. All right, you, well, you on this one. Thank you. You, here it doesn't really matter which one I choose, so I suppose I'm going to go with you, because you're a slightly larger stack than this one. I could have gone with that one, but bah. And I want to take over you. Ooh, that one was close. End my turn. Get a few more dice. Now I've got a double stack right here. Uh, aww. Now I'm paying the piper. End my turn. Actually, what I'm going to do now, because he's... I mean, I've pretty much lost this game. It's not actually a given that I've lost it. I do still have a chance. I have made an epic comeback in this game. Uh, but it's, again, it's all about how well the dice fall for you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back up here. I'm going to show you a 7, which is the default. Eight players. See how many different colors there are? And you can see how spread out my territories are. So I'm going to click No. I like it when I can get a, a map where my guys are closer together, like here. My guys are already touching. And then I'm only one step away from getting all, f uh, all of my territories together. So I play this one. And the big problem is, as I've mentioned before, you don't get to go first. And in fact, here we're going to go fourth, which isn't too bad, but... Ah, look at that. You certainly have to be lucky. Okay, so here I just want to get my territories close to each other. I'm going to attack you, and I'm going to attack you. And the only thing... Well, actually, there's two guys that pose a threat to this territory, so I don't want to attack that. This territory has these two as threats, and I think we'll just leave it there. Again, I'm not going to finish this game because I'm going to end this video in just a moment. Ooh, man, I like hearing those tinks when people attack my territory. I'm actually uh, one of... I'm known in my dormitory in undergrad for my epic defenses and risk, which is funny because there's absolutely no skill involved, but people swear that, you know, that's just my special skill in life. Man, light green is so OP. This game is Imba. All right, so I've got my guys. I'm going to swing through. I want to take over these green territories, especially because there's not really anybody that can attack them. And I will start by killing you. Ha! And then killing you. Ha! And that's it for that. And then... And unfortunately, I can't swing over here. So, I'm going to swing here, here, and leave it there. One of the things you'll notice is, like, by leaving these one-die buffer zones, green, for example, can't attack uh, from here at my guys. Whereas if I expanded one more territory over, orange could attack, or if I attacked here, green could swing through. So leaving those one die buffers on the edge for my, for my opponent makes it easier for me. I can attack down here with impunity, however. Click. And that will allow me to... Good. End my turn. And get my dice, and then attack next turn. So this is Dice Wars. Um, it's on the front page of albinoblacksheep.com. And I bet you can find it by Googling Dice Wars. And uh, it's, it's a lot of strategy and a lot of luck. And it's actually pretty fun. I mean, I'm, I want to keep playing this game now just to see how far I can get. But play it. Awesome. Bye-bye.